Hi folks and welcome. In today's video, we'll be touring West Lynn, which is a small and charming city south of Portland and south of Lake Oswego in Oregon. Now, if you're considering moving to the Portland metro area, I do think West Lynn should be an area that you consider. It has some of the best schools in all of Oregon. It has an adorable and cute downtown area, great hiking trails, parks, and is situated here on the Willamette River. So please join me as we explore all this and more in the charming city of West Lynn, Oregon. Hello, I'm David Backholder and welcome to a very foggy morning in West Lynn. Now, I'm a real estate broker based in Portland, Oregon, and every day I help people who are considering relocating to Oregon. So if you have questions on real estate or need help deciding which neighborhoods or cities are right for you, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. Okay, let's get on with the video and please allow me to give you a tour around West Lynn, Oregon. So West Lynn is located approximately 13 miles south of downtown Portland and about 5 miles south of Lake Oswego. But it is its own independent city, and it's not a big city. According to the 2020 census, there were approximately 27,000 people who lived here. So it's well located and it can take you about 25 minutes to get to PDX Airport and some of Portland's other major amenities. Now West Lynn sits on the Willamette River, which runs to the east and to the south. And across the other side of the river, you have Oregon City. To the west of West Lynn, you have the much smaller Tualatin River. So West Lynn is divided into several small neighborhoods, but there are two main areas for you to consider if you're looking to move here. Now back in 1916, West Lynn was merged with the adjacent town of Willamette, and you'll still see big differences to these two main areas. The first area is the old historic Willamette neighborhood, which is south of Interstate 205. And this is where you'll find the adorable walking town and access to the river, and I'll cover both of these later on in this video. The other area is north of Interstate 205, and you'll see that this is a fairly hilly area. Although there is a mix of old and newer homes here, this is an area that has been developed more recently, so many houses are only around 20 to 30 years old. And it tends to be the older homes that are smaller and the newer homes that are much larger. So let's explore this area first. So also in the northeast section of West Lynn, you'll find many parks, as well as walking trails, and one of the most well-known is Wilderness Park, which is a 51-acre park in the east corner of West Lynn. Now, although the majority of homes in West Lynn are single-family properties, you will also find some townhouses and condos here. Now this area is Cascade Summit, which is just a couple of blocks from the Cascade Summit shops, which is where you'll find the usual suspects, including a Safeway and a Starbucks. So now let's take a look at the second main neighborhood in West Lynn that I wanted to share with you. And this is the historic old town of Willamette, located in the southwest corner of West Lynn. Now this area is much flatter and much more walkable. Willamette Force Drive is an adorable street with plenty of cute cafes, restaurants, and bars. And it's really clear that the town wants to make this a place for people to walk and feel safe. You have these bike lanes that go through the town on both sides of the street, 
And what I thought was very unique are these water refill stations with both still and sparkling water. Now at the western end of Willamette Falls Drive is Willamette Garage, which is a food cart pod with outdoor fire pits and plenty of outdoor seating. Now if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so now. I release new videos every week, so it's the best way for you to stay on top of the content. It also helps other people who are considering a move here find my content too. Now this is a historic area, so the homes in this part of West Lynn tend to be a little older and have more charm. Now I took this footage just a block or two south of Willamette Falls Drive, so you can see what types of property are available in very close proximity to the cute town centre. So a fun fact for you, in 2011, the city of West Lynn was the top ranked Oregon city on the CNN Money Magazine's Best Places to Live list. It cited breathtaking views on the Cascades and relatively low local taxes. And lower taxes is a big appeal of the city. It's located in Clackamas County, which tends to have slightly more favorable taxes than Portland's Multnomah County. One of the big appeals of West Lynn is the quality of the schools. And if schools are important to you, then this is definitely one of the better areas in the Portland metro area to consider. Now, according to greatschools.org, both Sunset Primary School and West Lynn High School are very highly rated and both received an overall rating of nine out of 10. So the Willamette River runs through West Lynn to the east and to the south. Now I'm currently standing in the Willamette Park, which is where the Tualatin River meets the Willamette River. Now this is a really popular park, especially in the summer, as you'll see people frequently launching their boats into the river here. So how much does it cost to purchase a home in West Lynn? Well, townhouses and condos are going to be upwards of $300,000. Single family homes will start at around half a million dollars, but the larger 4,000 square foot homes will comfortably exceed a million dollars. Now, if I had to sum up West Lynn the best I can, I'd say because of the very highly rated schools, parks, rivers, and a mix of small, medium, and large homes, it makes a great option for families. It's definitely a more affluent city too, and it does feel safe and well-maintained. This downtown area is adorable, and I love the fact we've got these food trucks right behind me. Now, if you're thinking of moving to Oregon, please feel free to send me an email, text, or give me a call, and I'd love to help you find your dream home here. Now, remember, I do have lots of content, Every week I release new videos, so there's something for everybody. Until next time though, thanks for watching.